So that's what we're looking at when we're doing Medicaid planning is we want to get the care that we need. We want to do it in a way that's efficient so that you don't have to spend any more money than you could. Let's go on to the next one, which is now Billy Bean is going to end up sticking with that process. He's actually going to work with the players. Uh, that's not typically something that's going to happen with Medicaid planning that we're going to actually go in and start talking with nurses or coach, uh, you know, coach the Medicaid caseworker or something like that but it's emphasizing the process and explaining little bits of why we're doing things, but it's not the whole overall strategy. And this is something that often happens when we're doing Medicaid planning. My clients want to try to understand everything from start to finish, all the details and all that, and, and it's just way too much. So, with Billy Bean, he's talking with the players about their individual things that have to line up with the plan. When you're getting your pitch, you're hitting 625, which is massive. You're crushing, crushing the ball. But when you're swinging things, you know, that your pitch is middle in. And when you're swinging low and away and stuff, you're batting 158. Every at bat's like a hand of blackjack. Every card that's dealt, your odds completely change. So every first pitch strike, your batting average goes down about 75 points. 75 points? He should be throwing 100 pitches before the fifth inning. I'm gonna knock that starter out and eat deep into their bullpen. I want you to take in at bats off the 10th and 11th pitcher by the end of the series. This is your basic breakdown of all the location of the pitches, where you should be hitting them, why you should be hitting them. So he wants to walk one. Good question. Yes. Be social out there. Social. Social, like a greeter at the Gap. Guy steps into your office. Chat them up. You're well read. You went to school. Yeah. Have some fun. Relax. Everyone wants to attack. Quit trying to attack. Let the game come to you, man. There's no clock on this thing. This is a war of attrition. If I take more, I could even take a few strikes, but I'll, I'll get walked more. You get on base, we win. You don't, we lose. And I hate losing, Chobby. I hate it. I hate losing more than I even want to win. And there's a difference. No bunts. Bunts is now. Not even third baseman's back. No bunting whatsoever. If someone bunts on us, just pick it up and throw it first. Don't try to be a hero and go to second. Let them make the mistakes. And when, when your enemy's making mistakes, don't interrupt them. They're giving you an out, man. They're just giving it to you. Take it. Say thank you. Another thing, no more stealing. That's what I do. That's what you pay me to do. No, I pay you to get on first, not get thrown out of second. This is a process. It's a process. It's a process. Okay. So he's right. That's a process. It's a process. It's a process. And you're, you're going to end up with the end result. He, what he's doing here is he's just simplifying it. Don't try these, quote, sexy moves of bunting to advance the runner. It doesn't pay off, at least for the Oakland A's, as much balanced against the success. The percentage just isn't helping them get the score they need. What's better is just take the out at first, let that other runner advance. And they're going to end up coming out ahead in the long run overall. If you think it's important for educational videos like this to get out there, then please help us out by subscribing to the channel. So he's helping them see that, you know, don't do this, do this. So when it comes to something like Medicaid planning, it's like, yes, yeah, we're going to ignore this other stuff because it's only, it's going to cause more problems than it's worth. Stick with the plan. So now we're going to get onto the next scene and see all of that stuff's been implemented. Here's the success. So what exactly is it? That same year, the Oakland A's were on the verge of breaking a record. They ended up with 19 wins in a row. And they tie, that's a tie for as many wins in the American League as any team had ever had in a streak. I mean, going back from the beginning of baseball 
and they were trying to get to 20. So that's where we're at. Strike three called 12 straight wins for the athletics. Man alive, was it Harry? Something strange is now happening in Oakland. You cannot argue the point straight. right now. We 12 in a row making a joke out of the American League. They were in Detroit today and it just... He throws to first, and, and that's the goes. sound of 14 straight victories. 14 straight, the longest run in the bigs this year. It has slingshot the A's into first in the AL West. It's a nice... This team was written off. How do you explain otherwise? How do you explain otherwise some of the victories that they've come up with? The Oakland A's are going to win 16 consecutive games. This is the longest win streak in baseball, folks, in 25 years. The A's have won 16 in a row. We're going to 20. We're going to well, 20. Well, to have a winning streak of anything like this duration, you have to be good, but there's an element of randomness to it. The 1927 Yankees, Ruth, Gehrig, Murderer's Row, some people still say the best team ever. Longest winning streak for them that year, nine. You guys try to analyze it from a number standpoint, and I'm telling you, there is no explanation for what's occurring right now. It's bigger than you know, a whole bunch of superstitions going on. They have to do the same thing. Hope I'm not the jinxing it, but the all-time record of 20 does not seem impossible anymore. Well, here's we're on page one of the New York Times today. They are the story in sports in this entire country. Two pitch, here it is. Swing and a miss. Notice one thing that they were talking about in there. Oh, it's, it, it can't be the numbers. It's got to be, you know, there's something going on that we just don't understand. You can't explain it. It's, no. It, the results is that you followed the process and you got where you were going to go because you focused on the numbers. You focused on doing what needed to be done and you got rid of that extraneous stuff. You got rid of the bunting. You got rid of the stealing and, quote, through Billy Bean's war of attrition, they ended up winning. So, all right, let's get back to that. Two wins away from tying the American League record. You could replay these 18 games 100 times over, and nobody wins 18 straight again. I mean, it's just, it just defies everything we know about baseball. The most amazing you could ever imagine has happened over the last four days at the Coliseum. Up the middle, the, end, the 1906 White Sox, the 1947 New York Yankees have company. So the process was working. Now, let me just give the background here uh, before we jump back into it to see what really happened at the end. Uh, the Oakland A's in that game number 20, that if they win, then the, the, they've got the biggest winning streak of all of the American League. Uh, they were up 11 to nothing, and they started – giving up runs and a part that we're not showing here billy bean actually had his own superstition as the general manager he never attended the games because that's not what his game was it was getting the players getting the overall strategy so initially he was going to be going to one of their farm teams for a game and he gets a call from his ex-wife and his daughter and then, you know, you've got to be there. You've got to be there. So he actually does turn around and he goes to a, the game and he gets into the park and suddenly they start losing. So it's, wait a minute, is the superstition real? And here's where the ending comes out. Oh, holy Toledo. 
the A's have blown an 11 to nothing lead. This is the specter of a development that has been lurking now ever since the five-run fourth inning by the Royals. And the A's gate with destiny is on hold right now. really quick that's the manager who's been fighting him fighting billy bean the whole time trying to do it his way until he was forced into it because he traded the players he wanted to play to get on base, maybe bring it a, a pinch runner for him. So that was the culmination of it. The manager had finally gotten on board. And when it was a crunch time, it's like, yeah, Hatterberg gets on base more than the other guy, Burns. Put him in. End up hitting a home run. He was just trying to get him on base. So the strategy worked. Now, there's always, if you see the end of the movie, they didn't win the World Series. No. No. When it comes to something like Medicaid planning, are you going to get the $20,000 a month nursing home and get Medicaid to pay for it all and keep absolutely everything? No, probably not. There is going to have to be money that's spent in this process, but the Oakland A's were a heck of a lot further ahead and they got that 20 game winning streak and got that record. So they were much better off and it was a lot cheaper. They didn't have to come up with extra millions and millions of dollars doing it the way they want the, the scouts wanted to do it. They ended up being successful. It was a definitely a successful year for them. So that's what we're looking at when we're doing Medicaid planning is we want to get the care that we need. We want to do it in a way that's efficient so that you don't have to spend any more money than you could. Could you have got, could you have got mom or dad that $20,000 a month nursing home? Yeah, but spend everything you have. And then the kids start pitching in and paying for it. Or we could have a facility that's going to get the job done that might not be 
twenty thousand dollars a month and have this grand piano and chandelier in the lobby and all this other stuff but they're going to get good care so finding a right facility and all that that's another completely different video topic but i thought this would be an interesting way to kind of analyze some of the stuff that happened in moneyball and compare it to medicaid planning but the most important thing is thinking differently coming up with the process and then following it that's so critical to it and not thinking the way everybody else had been thinking or thinking away like retirement and we got to grow assets and this other stuff and that's more important and minimize taxes is more important no what we need is something that's going to get you where you need to go with overall doing better than just spending everything. So I hope you found that information useful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and go ahead and comment below about some of the things that you see as being important in Medicaid planning or other observations about Moneyball. So I, as I always tell my clients, please stay safe, plan ahead and enjoy life. And whatever you do, make it a great day.